What's up guys and welcome back to the next episode of this Ford Connect micro camper van conversion. So in the previous episode you saw me completing all the bodywork on the van and giving the van a full respray. I had to give the van a full respray because the van had some rust on the roof that needed to be taken care of because I'm now going to be fitting a solar panel up on the roof of this little Ford Connect to basically give more than enough charging power that's ever going to be needed for inside this little camper van. The panel I'm going to be fitting is this nice large 250 watt panel. This is going to take up pretty much most of the roof space on the van. But it's not going to overhang or anything like that. I've made sure that it's nice long enough but not too long to overhang where the roof slopes back down again. Now I do need to get this panel in place before I can then start doing any conversion work on the inside. Because obviously I'm going to be bolting the panel down onto the roof. And I need to get the panel bolted in before I can then get all the insulation and the headlining back up onto the roof of the conversion. So that's what I'm going to be doing in today's episode. Now if you're looking for anything that I'm going to be fitting in this episode, whether it's be the panel, the panel brackets, the Victron solar controller, anything like that, there'll be links in the description below. So just have a look for the links going up to eBay where I've bought all of the equipment that I'm going to be fitting in this episode. So first things first, I'm going to get some of the brackets mounted onto the panel. Then I'll be able to get the panel up onto the roof and start drilling some holes to be able to get them mounted fully in onto the roof. So let's get some safety gear out, some tools out, start getting the mounting brackets onto the panel. Then as I say, we'll get the panel up, we'll start drilling some holes and we'll get it fully secured. So let's get cracked on. Right, so that's the brackets all on the panel and the panel's now up on the roof. So now all I've got to do is get the drill out and start drilling lots and lots and lots of holes just to be sure that it's all going to be fully mounted and it's not going to be going anywhere at all. So there's going to be eight holes per side that are going to be drilled through, two per bracket and there's four brackets per side. So I'm going to crack on, get some of these holes drilled through. Then we'll get some of the bolts with the locking nuts on them as well. We'll get them poked through as well and we'll get it fully secured. But it's coming along nicely, so now's the daunting part of drilling holes in the roof. Right, so now all the holes are drilled through, all the way through the roof of the van as well. I'm now going to sandwich the brackets with some Tiger Seal, and that's really, really good, strong, waterproof adhesive as well. So I'm going to sandwich some of that in between the brackets and the roof, and then I'm also going to put another layer on top of the brackets when the bolts go through as well. So basically the holes are going to be double Tiger Sealed to be sure that there's not going to be any way any water is going to get in any of the holes. So, first things first, as I say, I'm going to just lift the, uh, the panel up slightly so I can get underneath all the brackets. Put a nice big thick layer of the Tiger Seal in between the bracket and the roof. Then we'll go around getting all the bolts in place, again with more Tiger Seal as well. So let's get all of these holes sealed up, the panel in place, and get the bolt in place.
Right, so that's the panel all bolted onto the roof, fully secured with the nuts inside as well, and with two layers of sealant between the brackets and then between the bolts and the brackets as well. So those holes aren't going to be leaking water anytime soon. They're as waterproof as I can get them. So now I've got to feed the cables through the roof and I've got an IP65 junction box for that. So I'm just going to drill one more hole through, feed the cables through, and we'll secure that junction box down again to make sure that that's going to be nice and watertight as well. So we're getting towards the end of the solar panel install. So let's get that IP65 junction box fitted in and get the cables fed through. Right, so there's the IP65 junction box fully fitted with plenty of sealant around all the holes as well and again all the way around the box on the exterior of the box so it's sealed on the inside and the outside and around all the holes so that's not going to be letting any water in at all so now I've got the cables fed through I can now finally get my insulation up on the uh, ceiling itself and then I can look at getting the headline in, in as well and then when it arrives, probably tomorrow hopefully, my solar controller should be here and then I'll get the rest of the cabling sorted out for the panel. So as I say, in the meantime, I'm just going to get everything up on the ceiling that I've been waiting until the panel was in place and now I can get everything fitted in. So I'm going to crack on, get this insulation fitted up onto the ceiling, then the headlining up and then I'll pick it back up again when the solar controller arrives and we'll get the final wiring done from the controller from the panels to the controller and then from the controller to the battery. So I'll crack on and get all this headline and stuff done. Right, so to complete the solar panel install, I'm going to be wiring the solar panel down to a Victron Smart Solar solar controller. This is an MPPT Smart Bluetooth controller. So you can connect to this on your phone. Just put a little six pin cord in. It connects to the controller on Bluetooth and it gives full chart readouts of all of the solar panels that's been generated over days and previous days and weeks as well it does keep a history of all of the actual uh, solar panel charge that's gone through the charge controller into the battery then from the controller it's going to be going into this 150 amp hour gel AGM battery as well this battery is going to be big enough for this small little micro camper van conversion there's not going to be much that's going to be run off this apart from a Dometic fridge couple of lights, a couple of USB sockets, things like that. So 150 amp hour battery with a 250 watt solar panel on the roof. Should be plenty to keep this fully charged up and no lack of power or anything like that. So I'm going to put some of the final connections on some of the cables, get the controller wired in and the battery wired in and that'll be this full solar panel mounted and all the cabling done. Now as you can see, I am also sort of in between a few different jobs in as well. I've got a lot of the carpeting done, that'll be coming up in the next episode. And I've also started on the kitchen unit, the side unit, with the storage cupboard things as well. So these will all be coming up in future episodes as well. But today I'm just concentrating on getting all the solar all finished and sorted out as well. So I'll get the final cables all connected to the controller and then to the battery. We'll pick it all up and we'll show you how much power it's generating through the solar panel, through the controller. Right, and that's the panel all basically wired in. As uh, I am going to be changing this layout once the full cupboard's completed because the solar panel is going to get mounted on one of the walls and the battery is also going to get moved into a more secure place. This is just for testing purposes more than anything else. But as you can see on the Victron Smart Bluetooth app, you can see it's drawn through 64 watts. It's pumping through over four amps into the battery, but it's not on a bulk charge. The battery's already quite charged as it is. That's why it's in the absorption state rather than the bulk. If it was bulk, then that 64 watts would probably be closer to 164, maybe even more than that. But obviously because the battery's already got a lot of charge in it, it goes through three stages from bulk to absorption to float. And float is basically just your trickle charge. And your absorption is in between your main bulk where it's pumping through as much power as it can. 
and the absorption is getting it towards the float charge but as you can see that's all working there now as I say the solar controller is fully wired in pumping through all of the power into the battery and it all connects through the Victron Bluetooth smart solar control app as well so if you're looking for any of the things that I've been fitting in this video whether it's the 250 watt solar panels the cabling the solar controller battery things like that I'll put links in the description below of the video they'll go up to eBay where I've bought pretty much everything that's going into this conversion so I'd say if you're after the panel or the brackets the solar controller battery cabling anything like that check the link in the description below and they'll go out to where I bought all of these things but as you can see at least that is the solar panel fully connected up and working and putting through charge into the battery that's the main thing so now this is all in and fitted and I've got all the wiring in I can crack on and finish the rest of the carpeting the rest of the kitchen build as well and as I say these will be coming up in future episodes as well but at least that's the solar panel fully mounted fully tested fully working so that'll do it for this video so as I say if you're looking for the similar things check the description below if you're new to the channel consider hitting that subscribe button as well there's weekly updates coming on this little Ford Connect micro camper van as we go along with the conversion and there's also another seven previous conversions on my channel ranging from micro campers all the way through to big minibus conversions like that one as well so have a look at my channel for the previous content hit subscribe and follow along and pop back next week for next week's update of this little Ford Connect micro camper van conversion thanks for watching cheers <laughs>